Hi Lorenzo, good to see you at Focus 2008. Same here Aaron, how are you doing? Good, yeah. So, you've obviously been a very busy boy today. I've been around the, around the show a lot and passing the, uh, the stand here. Lots of interest. Absolutely. What have they been coming to see? They've been coming to see two specific products from Sakonic, the L758DR, which is the first uh, light meter and exposure meter ready for digital. It's uh, a meter that allows you to program it for the exposure characteristics of your digital camera so you get the best quality exposure possible. It's the only meter that has that and it has Pocket Wizard built inside. Right. So which can, is a radio triggering. Up. Right, okay. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, yeah. And also they've come to see a new product that no one has seen yet. We've shown it for the first time here at the Focus Imaging Show. It's the Sakonic uh, uh, Pro Digi Color C500 series. Okay. This is the first color meter that has wireless built in and is designed to be worked with both digital and film so that photographers today can get the proper white balance and color control that they need to get the best quality images that they need. What are, what are kind of the main differences between, between these two babies? I mean, this looks sort of compact and small. And So talk us through a little bit about the two products themselves. Well, actually, the two products are very, very different. Um, although they're both meters, this meter is designed to measure light volume, or the amount of light that's falling on a subject or reflecting off a subject. The, the Pro Digi is actually designed to measure the color temperature of the right. light source okay. yep. to, to make sure the color balance is correct. So they're really actually two different animals altogether. Okay. So where do you see these are very much for the sort of enthusiast photographer market and pro market? Studio, outside? I mean, I assume there's a mixture of yeah, the applications. Yeah, I, I think that the, the uh, 758 Digital Master is designed for any serious photographer who wants to get the best quality images that they can and get real control over exposure that they haven't been able to have yet. Yeah. Um, the color meter also is very important, but I think the, the niche market for it is really focused towards the pro shooter, the commercial shooter, who's really trying to control color. Yeah. Um, so I, I think really the, there's a wider market for the 758DR because everyone needs this product, yep. but there's a much more finite focused market for the color meter. So with the with, with this product here, the 758D, we're talking about spot meters, we're talking about ambient meter, mm -hmm. um, what else, what else do we, does it do flash meter for example? Yes, like yeah, you can actually do flash or ambient, yep. or you could do incident with a, a lumosphere dome that yep. swivels, or you also have a built-in one degree spot that you can actually hold up to your eye and take a measurement, it's a one degree area. One degree. Is yeah. that, can you change that from one degree upwards? Nope, nope, there's no need for no it. Need to, Every right. photographer who wants a spot meter wants a one degree, and the cool thing about this is once you program your camera's exposure profile into it, yeah. it will tell you what the dynamic range is of your camera and right. tell you where you're going to get in trouble as far as losing highlights or shadows. Right. So it's really a very, very sophisticated meter. It's the only meter that actually <laughs> is designed to work with digital photography to help the photographer answer the problems that they're having today and not the problems that they had yesterday. Now you mentioned individual camera profiles. Mm -hmm. Is that something you need to buy? Is that something you download from the website? No, no. Uh, today's cameras are all very, very unique. So the Sakonic comes with software and there's a target that you shoot. You shoot this target, yep. bring the captured images into the Sakonic data transfer software. It analyzes the images and comes up with a correction profile. And you just simply plug in a mini USB into your meter and it automatically programs that profile into your meter. So you just use your meter like you always have and it tells you exactly what exposure is necessary to get a good exposure on that particular camera. Wow. Yep. That's very sophisticated That's stuff. Very, very cool. Let's talk about some more detail on this, sir. Sure. It's light. It's got a lovely coating to it, hasn't it? Yep. Nice big screen. Mm -hmm. what, uh, what sort of information are we being told on the LCD? Well, I mean, what's, what's happening here is, is that, you know, like digital uh, basically looks at color the same way our eyes do, the visual color spectrum, whereas film looks at it from a photographic visual spectrum yeah. or color spectrum. So there's a problem because if we try to use color meters from yesterday with digital technology, it just simply doesn't work. Yeah. It doesn't look at the colors with the same sensitivity level as digital cameras do. In yeah. fact, this meter, what it did to address that, is it has two red sensors in it. It's actually a four color meter meter. So it's got two red sensors in it. One is sensitive for film, yeah. and the other that's sensitive for de uh, digital. And then the green and blue filters that are in there are programmed to automatically adjust their sensitivity based on whether you're using film or digital. Right. So why do you need a color temperature meter? Yep. Yep. You know, you could just take your digital camera, set it to auto, and you're done. But in auto mode, or even in the presets on a camera, it doesn't take into account mixed lighting situations. Like right. if you go into a studio and you have two different types of light sources, yep. the camera's going to try to correct the two of them together and make and it not work. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Totally. 
So now you've got this other thing, this little K degree in the camera. What do you do with that? What numbers do you dial in? Yeah. Well, that's when a color meter comes in handy, but you can't use any color meter. You need a digital color right. meter. So this measures the actual light based on the white balance that you want to get. So let's say I want to use 5,500 Kelvin. So I set 5,500 Kelvin in the color temperature meter. Yep. I take a measurement of all of my light sources, like if I've got a, a light source on my left side or my right side, it tells you what the light sources are and it says, okay, if you want to correct or balance these, here's the filters that you need to do to get neutral lighting. Wow. Then it tells you what the overall corrected color temperature is. You just dial that into your digital camera and you're done. The advantage is that with this color meter, just like the exposure meter, you get it right the first time before you push the buttons instead of spending hours and hours in enhancing software trying to fix what should have never happened to begin with. And that's Sekonic's all the whole mode, is to get it right the first time so you can shoot faster and smarter and get better quality yeah. than uh, messing around with a software later on. Now you've, you mentioned there if you've got different color light sources, that's obviously predominantly more for a studio base. How is this going to help, for example, a landscape shooter who's out in bright lighting situations and perhaps he goes into shade? Tell us how this meter can well, help him. It's, it's, it's very common that when you're shooting landscapes, you're going to have shadows and you're going to have highlights. Yep. And color temperature changes in highlights and in shadows. And depending on different time of the day, of course. Exactly. Yeah. And sometimes you're so focused on the highlights, you don't pay attention to the shadows. Yep. The shadows go blue. Yep. So what you can do with the light meters, you can actually, uh, the color meters, you can actually measure the shadows and the highlights to see what the differences are. Right. And then what you can do from there is you can do an overall color correction, yep. or at least you know what's going to happen. Very so right. absolutely, for, for landscape it's useful, but it's where it really shines, frankly speaking, is commercial industrial shooters, yep. fashion editorial shooters, uh, anybody who's doing industrial work, uh, portrait photographers, anyone who's, who's basically trying to mix uh, architectural photographers, yep. for example, who are mixing available light and strobes yep. or different types of strobes. I mean, any, mercury vapor, whenever there's a mix of different light sources, you definitely, absolutely need a color and temperature. This is meter. about total control, isn't This it? is about total color control. This is about total exposure control. With the two of these together, you're a champion photographer. Excellent. Thank you very much. My Lorenzo. pleasure. Nice to meet you. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers.